Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to divide fractions when the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Whenever your numerator is smaller than the denominator, that means your final answer is always going to be less than 1, because that's what happens when the numerator is smaller. So when it comes to dividing it, you've got to use long division, and um, there you have it. But let's do an example to see how this works. Suppose you want to divide 3 divided by 5, 3 fifths, for example. Now, as you know, 3 is divided by 5, 3 is smaller than 5, excuse me, so you know that the final number is going to be less than 1. So here's how you set it up. With long division, the numerator is always on the inside and the denominator is always on the outside. Now, since we know that the answer is going to be less than 1, and this makes sense when you think about it, 5 does not go into 3, so you know it's going to be 0 point something. So you always want to line up the uh, decimal so that you don't lose sight of your final answer. Now, after that, you want to put zeros within the division so that you will add zeros when necessary until you divide evenly, if possible. In this case, 5 does not go into 3, we know that, but 5 does go into 30 6 times. So 6 times 5 is going to be 30, and that's going to give you 0 remainder. So that, what that means here is 3 fifths is actually going to be 0 0.6. That was expected because we know the answer is going to be less than 1. So the bottom line here is when it comes to dividing fractions with the numerator is smaller than the denominator, you put the decimals where they belong, and then you add the number of zeros that you need to until you divide evenly, if possible. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's an illustration on how to divide fractions when the numerator is smaller than the denominator.